The PC Master Race is still living up to its name in the last decade. Ready your pitchforks and hear us out as we present these 10 best PC games for the year 2010 to 2019, all arranged by play scores. The play score is an average of gamer and critic ratings. At number 10 is Ori in the Blind Forest. A Microsoft exclusive might be the right way to start off this list. Moon Studios' platformer balances emotional storytelling with impressive visual design. Ori in the Blind Forest puts you into the life of a fledgling forest guardian and his spirit friend trying to navigate their way around a magical forest to save it. There's an almost therapeutic feel every time you dip into its atmospheric 2D world. Despite its short game time, it received generally favorable reviews from various gaming sources, mainly in its mesmerizing backdrops and rewarding Metroidvania gameplay. Navigating around the highly detailed levels and fending off enemies using a plethora of abilities isn't really something new in the genre, but its overarching themes of love and friendship is something worth remembering in a game like this. Its upcoming sequel, Ori and the Will of the Wisps, is sure to bring more flavor and wonder into this fascinating world soon. It receives a play score of a 9.19. At 9th place is Mass Effect 2. Before Andromeda's massive letdown, there was the epic space trilogy that earned its respect to all the gamers in the world. The Mass Effect saga was the space opera that combines a universal scale story with relatable characters that, to this day, we will never forget. The galaxy needs Commander Shepard in his quest to prevent the extinction of the human race from the impending Reaper invasion. On the surface, it feels like a textbook sci-fi story, but underneath its layers lies a complex set of themes, from politics to the good old existential dread. Mass Effect 2 is the strongest entry in the trilogy. It was the moment fans knew what Bioware was capable of. It brought together an ensemble of memorable characters in a literal suicide mission that made us emotional no matter the outcome. It is a true space action RPG and it receives a play score of a 9.22. At 8th place is The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. There is absolutely no forgetting Bethesda's crowning jewel. Skyrim's biggest achievement was it came ahead of its time. If Mass Effect was the top of space RPGs, Skyrim is its medieval fantasy counterpart. It was the open world adventure we never knew we needed, and it even gave birth to a number of other epic medieval themed games with the same formula. In Skyrim, you're basically the Dragonborn, their own version of a Jedi. It comes with the ability to scream and push people away. But being the chosen one isn't just the best thing about Skyrim. It's the open-ended quests that you have that makes it special. Do you want to be an asshole and ruin people's lives, or be the hero that everyone needs up until you accidentally kill a chicken? The possibilities are endless in this massive title. And we're not even getting started with the mods. It receives a play score of a 9.23. At number 7 is Stardew Valley. PC's surprising indie title took hours of our time away when it came out. Stardew Valley is an essential game for those who want to take a break from all the online games they suck at. It's time you put down that gun and maybe grab the nearest shovel to cultivate some crops and breed some farm animals. For a game about time management, it consumed most of our day-to-day -day activities with its insane amount of things to do. It takes inspiration from the notable life simulator titles like Harvest Moon and integrates their own indie signature with little to no issues at all. What makes Stardew Valley great is in its mundane moments. Waking up and getting ready for the day is different to all other players. You're either spending the rest of your day fishing or giving gifts to your favorite person. 
making relationships is as enjoyable as exploring its peaceful town full of memorable moments. It receives a play score of a 9.23. Number 6 is Disco Elysium. 2019 was a great year for gaming, but PC standout title of last year was an open-world RPG set in a bleak future. Like any other great games out there, Disco Elysium was mostly praised for its well-written story. As a detective with a knack for mystery, you partake in the myriad of activities in its broken world, which includes puzzle solving and managing your own abilities. Talking to people to fuel your investigation not only gives you solutions, but more problems in its impressive take on the pen and paper format. As an RPG game, you take matters into your own hands, especially with its revolutionary dialogue system. The degree of freedom in each of its well-crafted missions takes you hours and hours of groundbreaking storytelling. It has a play score of a 9.26. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. That was the deal. Number 5 is Bioshock Infinite. Irrational's award-winning first-person shooter blew our minds when it came out in 2013. Booker and Elizabeth's story was also a standout title early in the last decade. It was plot twists after plot twists that we had to resort to watching YouTube videos to answer some of our lingering questions. Exploring the beautiful city of Columbia wasn't as magical as our first dip into Rapture, but it still presents us with some shocking surprises and a bit of politics in between. Its first-person shooter combat was faster and more fluid compared to the previous entries. The ability to use special powers using Vigors was akin to Rapture's plasmids, but it doesn't really add anything to the table. Elizabeth's AI, however, was the combat's greatest addition. Look her, here. her helping you out in tight situations is really, really handy. Much obliged. Infinite receives a 9.27. At fourth place is Undertale. The last decade was also a time of experimentation. Many variations of the RPG genre has come and go, but Toby Fox's unique take gave birth to a massive fanbase and a ton of fan-made titles. Not to mention its snazzy soundtrack keeps our determination pumping. Think of Undertale as a weirder version of Lewis Carroll's Alice in Wonderland. Play as a young kid trapped in a strange underground world where monsters are either friend or foe. What makes Undertale different from other RPGs is that it doesn't follow a formula. Each encounter in its turn-based combat grants you the choice to either spare or kill a character. And its indie's unique moments where Undertale truly shines. Simply showing mercy or taking them down is not an easy task. Each character in the game has its own set of dialogue, weaknesses, and strengths, and these choices will greatly affect the game's world and its ending. A play score of a 9.30. Heard you wondering about my swords. Well, one's for monsters. The other, for humans. At third place is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. No law of surprise needed here. CD Projekt Red's critically acclaimed third entry of their own take on Sapowski's dark fantasy series is different from Netflix's recent adaptation. They're really alive. Set years after the books, Geralt of Rivia's adventure is up for the player to decide. We must enjoy what we have. So, we've prepared something special. Come by the Kingfisher this evening. Bring wine. Lots of wine. See you later, love. The Wild Hunt is a mastercrafted fantasy RPG that could even go face-to-face -face with Bethesda's Elder Scrolls franchise. Its massive open world is home to many evils, and its interesting amount of side quests rivals that of the main story. Oh, you're awake. Had me worried. You were out way too long. 
He even considered giving you some white honey. Kind of hard to do with hooves, though. Roach? The game's huge amount of praise is justified, even after its two massive DLCs that could pass as a new game on its own. And don't even get us started with Gwen. But all in all, The Witcher 3 is easily the strongest of the trilogy, and one of the PC's best games of the last decade. A play score of a 9.35. The void has been pushed back before by the power of mortals. The gods couldn't handle it, but maybe we can. At second place is Divinity Original Sin 2. Larian Studios follows up the success of their first game with this prodigious sequel, already making a name for themselves thanks to their deep customizations and highly interactive environments. This second installment takes all that to a whole new level of immersion. Combat is dynamically turn-based. And during your turn, you look for opportunities to use the elements and terrain to your advantage. Exploit your strengths and your enemies' weaknesses. But remember, your foes will try to do the same. Bringing the spirit of pen and paper RPGs to the video game world, Divinity Original Sin 2 is an outstanding piece of emergent gameplay. Each interaction gives you more room for experimentation and other crazy ideas. It's a game played better with friends. Gather your buddies and roleplay your way in Divinity's fully realized world, packed with intriguing mysteries and complex character stories. It receives a play score of a 9.37. And the best PC game from 2010 to 2019 is none other than Portal 2. Remember when you tried to kill me twice? Valve is known to redefine the way we see video games. Half-Life 3 is but a century away, and the Dream of 3 is still non-existent in Gaben's world. The line is triple kill. Triple, three, as in you've killed three heroes. I don't understand. Portal was a game changer in the PC scene as it introduced an innovative way of combining good storytelling with seamless puzzle-solving mechanics using the power of physics. This next test is very dangerous. To help you remain tranquil in the face of almost certain death, smooth jazz will be deployed in 3, 2, 1. Sure, the original game was great, but its sequel was 10 times better. Especially with the return of the sociopathic robot GLaDOS, and let's not forget about the joys of using the portal gun to mess with science. Portal 2's success is what kicked off the start of the previous decade. It received universal acclaim for its physics-based gameplay, witty humor, and some solid voice acting. To this day, Portal 2 is still hailed as one of the greatest games of all time, and we see no lie to that. It receives a play score of a 